This is ThingLink in 3 minutes or less. ThingLink is a web-based tool that allows you to take an image and embed links, photos, or other information over it by tagging. You can then share these interactive images by social media, by link, or even through the embed code. So how does ThingLink work? Well first you need to visit ThingLink.com and sign up for an account. Now, if you're going to use your school email, I'd recommend you sign up for a ThingLink EDU account, and we'll get to that in one second. The basic ThingLink account is free, and this version works for most educators. But if you want to upgrade, there are several options which provide you with more functionality. After you sign up, you're ready to make your first interactive image. You need to start by selecting the image that you want to tag. This can include one that you upload for your computer, or one that you search and find on the internet. In ThingLink, the easiest way to link an image is by sharing its URL. But if you're more comfortable saving and uploading an image, you can do that too. For this example, I'm going to take this map of the US that I found on Google. Here's my image and now I'm ready to tag or add content over it. When you tag a photo, you can add information, pictures, videos, or even links to other websites. Now since I've added a tag, when I hover my mouse over New York, I can learn more about the state. After your thing link is complete, you can share it in a variety of ways, either through social media, by sharing the link, or by copying and pasting the embed code. Of course, if you don't want to create your own interactive image, you can search other images uploaded by ThingLink users, and if permission is granted, some users will allow you to remix or edit their images and customize it the way that you want. I mentioned the ThingLink EDU account before. If you sign up for a education account, ThingLink allows you, as a teacher, the chance to create and monitor student accounts or group accounts. The first 100 student accounts are free, additional ones require a monthly fee. ThingLink is easy to use and I feel that this would be great as an instructional tool to introduce a concept or introduce a unit. It may also be a good project that will let students curate a number of resources and information and then share that information back with the rest of the class. So to get started, you can sign up for your own free ThingLink account at www.thinglink.com or you can visit the iOS or the Google Play Store to download the mobile app of ThingLink.